Hi everyone, this is a video for creating a foundation in Rhino and uh, this is a project I had started on a previous video and uh, let me show you the floor plan that we were using this is the floor plan we were using and if I go to wireframe here you can see you know it's a pretty standard floor plan garage here typical over there so what I'm going to do is show you the steps that I go through for creating that footing and first thing you want to do is create a foundation layer which I have here um, and then make it a color that stands out pretty bright different than everything else and so let's go on the outside perimeter and then for the last one you hit C enter to close now we can go uh, pretty much on any view but if we see here at the top view uh, we can go here on the right side make sure you hit project just to make sure that everything's done on one plane it'll be done right here where this yellow or with where this red line is um, and so let's go ahead and draw what the foundation is gonna look like now I already have some examples here of a typical foundation uh, what we're doing is a slab on grade and I'm using inches as um, my the units for the project but as you can see here it's about 12 inches to 24 inches deep this is about a four inch concrete slab it could be thicker but for now um, this is kind of the idea of what we're what we're doing it's all concrete here and this is like if you had a hardscape that's where it would go so so I, what I like to do is I go here 24 inches out that way if it's a four inch slab this way and that way we have the beginning of the slab and the top of the footing. Now we come down here, 24 inches down, 12 inches out, and then we come up this way. So now we have these two, which we can do a chamfer, and we just say a four inch chamfer, four inch chamfer, and so now we have what we would call a typical uh, standard foundation but what I like to do is go he once you have that go ahead and trim it trim it here because we just want that we just want we're gonna create the the slab later so I guess it would be 24 down 12 up um, and then an angled and then here this would be the four inch so what we do here is we go to the perspective view this we're gonna sweep all the way around this so what you want to do is take this corner point and put it in the middle here so I'm gonna move from here to here to the midpoint And once we have this, we select that, the, the rail, and we type in sweep one. Then we select the cross section curve, and we go around looking, and just to make sure that everything is looking the way that we want it to look. We hit OK. Then we can go ahead and delete that outside line, and take a look in shaded view that we have a outside foundation line that is pretty consistent all the way around and we can now be a little bit careful and create that this the the slab on grade so what I like to do is if, if this is a four inch slab what I do is select that the whole thing bounding box bounding box creates a box around the whole thing and you can scale in one dimension bring that from there to the uh, from there to the bottom say so we're saying from the top to the bottom I want that whole rectangle that was created around the foundation to be four inches 
what that does is it's creating the slab all the way around which then we're going to subtract the footing from so we do select that boolean difference select the, the foundation and if you did everything correctly should be able to delete those and have a perfect foundation with the slab now one of the tricks is select that if you don't want these edges you go merge all faces and it takes every single planar uh, edge that's here and 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 flattens it into a into a clean clean um, clean surface so there we go now we can change it back to a a color that resembles more of a foundation we can turn on the roof and the walls this roof plane we can delete because we don't need it anymore and now we have very nice foundation it's gonna set the look for the rest of the house it's gonna help us create the hardscape so last trick just to show you right here we'll do a projection for a section let's do a section we're gonna create a section the way I like to do it is just throw a line down where you want the section type in project you're gonna go delete and put yes you're gonna delete the, the line that you created and you're gonna select all of that and you, once you do that move this out of the way you'll see that we have a footing here. Now you can get you can get rid of that if you if you boolean union the whole thing you won't have these edges. So let me show you what that looks like. Select the whole foundation, select objects, boolean union. Okay? What that does is that same section that we project to all of these is now all of one which is technically what this this is showing but it's actually continuous there's no break here so I hope this was an informative video uh, thank you very much for watching